Hey, Jerry Church here. It is a fabulous day here in Atlanta, Georgia. A little chilly, a little overcast, but still a fabulous day. So anyway, what I wanted to chat with you today is um, taking charge of your life. Take charge of your life. And what do I mean by that? Um, you know, we're in the situation we're in today because of the decision we've made in the past and the choices that we've made in the past and the action that we've taken in the past. And it's time for us to take charge of our life and be responsible, 100% responsible for what goes on from this day forward. Granted, we can't do anything about the past. And the Bible, as the Bible says, Paul says in, in the Bible, it says, forget those things that are behind and press forward to the mark of the prize of the high coming of God. So what we want to do is you want to press toward the prize that you're shooting for, or the goal that you're shooting for. And to do that, you've got to take responsibility. And uh, we want to set a higher standard for ourselves than we may have set in the past. So what we want to do is we want to uh, think positive thoughts. We want to do positive things. We want to escape from dependency. We want to get away from negative emotions. We want to get away from blame. We want to take responsibility for our future. Diane and I were talking this morning, and she has fibromyalgia, and uh, she had what goes along with that is chronic pain. So, so we've been talking about uh, her taking total responsibility from this day forward to get over that, meaning that there are some things that she can do that she's currently not doing, like uh, going out and exercising, and, and she says she can't do that uh, because she hurts so much. But, but starting today, we're going to be working on a plan for her to uh, start doing a little bit more movement than she can do. She's going to take responsibility for that from this, from this day forward. And one of the things that, um, you know, you, you think back on where you were, your life now, and one of the things I read was that from eight, up to age five, a child today hears the word no, and O, some 40,000 times up to age five. And no wonder we're adversely affected in our life because we always look up and say, can't do this, can't do this, can I do that? You know, is it okay if I do this? And instead of doing that, we need to take responsibility. There's a verse in the Bible that says, when I was a child, I spoke as a child, I did childish things, but when I became an adult, I put away those childish things and started behaving as an adult. So, taking that scripture as to what it really means, it says we can no longer act as a child. We cannot blame things that are happening in the life of other people. And we can't not do the things we know we need to do to achieve our goals. And we can't necessarily have to ask for permission to do that. Because as an adult, you've got to take 100% responsibility. I was reading on Facebook this week where this lady was struggling with releasing her son into adulthood. And that causes a problem not only with her, but it causes a problem with her son. Because her son needs to release the past and take responsibility because he is now a, an adult and he needs to be responsible for his adult actions. So basically, all that being said, uh, read the blog today. It's about uh, taking charge of your life and the things that you might have to do that you're not currently doing to get full charge of your life. And it talks a lot about uh, negative emotions and the fact that we've got to overcome negative emotions to, to have positive emotions. And the positive emotions tend to make us happy, which, according to Brian Tracy, is one of the main goals of anybody's life, is to be happy. So, with that being said, read the blog below. I've got uh, four points in the blog that you need to be looking at and, and responding to.
to change your life, take full charge of your uh, take full responsibility for what's going on in your life. So, all that being said, hey man, it's a great day in Atlanta, a great day in the world. I hope it's a great day for you.